this book is beautiful and it, it says a lot of important things. So uh, it goes where we want it to go. To mean, I, what I mean is uh, to remember what happened, you know, to stay vigilant, to understand the event in, in the history and to remember the 14 women for who they were, not just victims. So proud is the the best word, word to describe how I feel. Yeah. It, 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 it changes, you know, over the, the year and the time, 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 time helps. Um, uh, and I actually, when I wake up at, on December 6th, I think about her, I think about who she was uh, when she was with me, you know. Uh, of course, I think about what happened, but I, I use that. That's why I'm, I'm involved and that's why I'm, I'm I'm still here and trying to uh, keep alive the memory. Uh, that part helps me to, you know, stay strong. I'm very touched by what I've, what I heard this today. It gives me some peace of the heart. But at the same time, I feel nervous. There is a kind of uh, unease in right now. I know that the tragedy is first the one of my family, but it's not only my family, it's the whole society. What I heard yesterday in Quebec City, what I heard from our leaders, political leaders, is not only affection, interest, but also a commitment for greater uh, equality in society among men and women. And uh, hopefully it will help people to grow in this connection we have together, being one family in a society looking for greater respect for women and children.